Top Gun has an exclusive following as one of the best action swings featuring Tom Cruise. The original Top Gun film focused on the Navy's Top Gun Flight School, which trains fighter pilots. Tom Cruise plays the impulsive adrenaline junkie Pete Mitchell, a.k.a. Maverick, alongside co-stars Anthony Edwards as Maverick's right-hand man, Goose, and Val Kilmer as Iceman. This action-packed film featured action, plane stunts, tragedy, and well-known songs, including Danger Zone by Kenny Loggins. Cruz's on-screen portrayal of the iconic Maverick was favorably welcomed by both audiences and critics, who wished to see more of him as the infamous Maverick. Hello pilots and welcome back to our channel. Buckle up and prepare for an epic adventure that will leave you breathless and yearning for the wild blue yonder. This is Top Gun the sequel that will take your breath away. Top Gun 1986 Top Gun features Pete Mitchell, Cruz, a reckless, enthusiastic Navy ace known as Maverick who gets accepted into Top Gun, Miramar's prestigious fighter school. The brash young pilot, on the other hand, will face off against the finest, including Iceman, Val Kilmer, a skilled and competitive classmate. Mitchell must now give it his all, although his father's unexpected death still haunts him. Maverick has to convince Charlie, Kelly McGillis, the Flying Academy's demanding astrophysics teacher, of his worth and acquire some control if he is to win the coveted Top Gun trophy. Top Gun became an iconic favorite with so many fans that a sequel was only a matter of time, especially in this day and age of reboots. The film also received 11 award nominations. Top Gun Maverick 2022 In Top Gun Maverick, Cruz rebues his role as the lead character, top naval pilot Pete Mitchell, who travels through time with multiple cameos and nods to the 1986 ensemble. This includes the long-rumored, happy on-screen reunion between Cruise and Kilmer's Iceman. Tom Cruise will return in his flight suit as Pete Maverick Mitchell for Top Gun 2, officially named Top Gun Maverick, about 33 years after the original Top Gun hit theaters. The picture will be directed by Joseph Kaczynski, who previously collaborated with Cruise on the sci-fi action blockbuster Oblivion, the film features a talented ensemble cast, including Miles Teller, Jennifer Connelly, John Hamm, Glenn Powell, Lewis Pullman, and W.D. Harris. It promises to deliver high-octane aerial sequences, breathtaking visuals, and an emotionally charged storyline that honors the spirit of the original while introducing fresh elements to a captivating audience. Kilmer's appearance on the big screen was a tremendous accomplishment for him, who had lost his speaking voice while battling throat cancer. According to Variety, the breakthrough use of artificial intelligence speech reconstruction technology aided in ensuring Kilmer's renowned role could return to the big screen. Maverick's past becomes his present as he guides a new generation of flight graduates, including Teller's portrayal of his late co-pilot Goose's child. Tom Cruise will have a badass motorcycle, Cruise is ready to ride again in Top Gun Maverick, and he's training hard for it, including working to fly actual planes in this film. Will there be a Top Gun 3? Despite Top Gun Maverick becoming the biggest movie of 2022, Paramount has been unable to confirm Top Gun 3. Miles Teller did acknowledge in July 2022 that he has been in touch with Tom Cruise regarding a potential third film. However, producer Jerry Bruckheimer indicated in December 2022 that Cruise could be too busy right now for a threequel. He's in the middle of completing Mission Impossible 8 and that's all he can think about. We can talk once he finishes his work, but then he goes to space for an untitled Universal production and something else happens. On the other hand, director Joseph Kaczynski told Deadline in December 2022 that there is room for another film. At the end of this film, it appears to me that Maverick has some gas left in the tank. He's not going to settle down, he teased. So while we wait for Top Gun 3 to be confirmed, hopefully sooner rather than later, when could Top Gun 3 come out? Hopefully, we won't be stuck waiting another 36 years and not just because Cruz will have turned 89 by then, though he will still be doing stunts. The sequel took around a year to film, so even if it were announced shortly, we wouldn't see it until 2023. The earliest we expect to see the threequel is in the summer of 2024, but even that may be overly optimistic. Top Gun 3 cast, who will return? A Top Gun 3 cast not starring Tom Cruise may be inconceivable, and if it happens, it's very likely the ageless superstar would want to headline the next Top Gun. Maverick also successfully introduced new characters like Miles Teller's Rooster, Glenn Powell's Hangman, 
and Jennifer Connelly's Penny, who could come back for a third Top Gun. Then again, Top Gun 3 could also bring in new pilots to join Maverick up in the air, although Teller reprising Rooster as Maverick's new wingman seems like a no-brainer. While some of the characters came back for Top Gun 2, others did not and they could appear in Top Gun 3. While Penny has taken the role of Charlie, Kelly McGillis, as Maverick's love interest, there's no reason she couldn't make a cameo appearance in Top Gun 3. Top Gun's Mike Viper Metcalf, played by Tom Skerritt, also didn't make an appearance and would be a good fit for a return to the franchise. In reality, half of the Top Gun crew, including Jester, Cougar, and Hollywood, did not return for Maverick. That doesn't rule out the possibility of a reunion in Top Gun 3. Maybe Tom Cruise will not return as Pete Maverick Mitchell, but in a smaller part, with Miles Teller's Bradley Rooster Bradshaw taking on more of a prominent role. Val Kilmer's character Iceman was killed off, not in a spectacular plane crash, hence he will not reprise the role. What could Top Gun 3 be about? Top Gun Maverick, like its predecessor, does not expressly set up any future film ambitions, but that doesn't mean there isn't drama to be mined. Briefly, Pete Maverick Mitchell returned to Top Gun to train a group of pilots for a very tough mission, blowing up a nuclear plant in an almost impossible to reach location. Of course, after much deliberation, it is agreed that Maverick will lead the pilots and his team will include none other than Rooster Bradshaw, the son of his late closest buddy Goose. The main source of tension in the film is Rooster and Maverick's poor relationship, but don't worry, towards the conclusion, everything is fine. All of this is to argue that there is no apparent answer to how a third film might reconnect us with Pete at Top Gun. A plot similar to Top Gun 2's, in which he must train a new batch of pilots or recruits, is exceptionally impossible. A third film, on the other hand, could explore Maverick's retirement and how he would deal with civilian life before being dragged back on board. Any Top Gun 3 footage yet? Top Gun 3 has yet to be announced, let alone start filming, hence there is no footage of the threequel. Simply rewatch Top Gun Maverick on Paramount until the third film is announced. Top Gun is highly anticipated by fans of the original film and aviation enthusiasts alike. It aims to deliver an immersive cinematic experience that showcases the thrill, camaraderie, and relentless pursuit of excellence that define the world of naval aviation. Get ready to soar with the ultimate aviator Maverick as he takes on a jaw-dropping journey of speed, courage, and unbreakable Maverick spirit. Well, that's it. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views and opinions in the comments section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest news and reviews on upcoming videos from us. And do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you at the next one. Okay.